Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There will be a lot of NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and is PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Oh my! Come on, Bassy, why can't you just give me one more chance, please? For the last time, girl, I say no. I have business with the young master, and you leave me alone for now. You know I'm not the only one in the world. But to me, you are. You're so absolutely mm, delicious. <laughs> Chill with the simping, girl. I'm not the only one. Maybe... I don't know. You do you, and just leave me out of it, please. I'm trying to do my work. <laughs> and what are you working on instead of, you know, protecting the young highness? That's Aloise you're preferring. I meant my young master, Phantom Hive. However, I am training this young butler. Butler? Really, there's gonna be another one. Care if I meet this young fellow? He's not that young. He's, like, somewhere in his twenties. Ooh, he must be a very handsome man. I must meet him this instance. Please, Bassie, I promise I won't bother you. I just wanted to meet the young butler. Very well, then. He's training with young Phantom Hive. Come with me. Ooh, <laughs> I bet he's very sweet. Possibly be nice to the young highness. Master. Sorry! I don't know, I get mixed up. Oh, so this must be him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a handsome young man. <laughs> got a sweet baby face he's got. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? For some reason, he's quite adorable. Care if you like to meet him? Oh, yeah, of course. Why, hello there. <laughs> Oh, aren't you a s smooth talker? <laughs> My name's Grail Sutcliffe, young man. <laughs> you can perform me as young lady, or I don't know, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> a kiss on the hand. What a fine gentleman you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bessie, do you have any tissues? I really need to blow my nose. <laughs> Think oh. Oh yes, I, I can feel it now. Oh dear. Um, sorry about my, um, interruptions for you, young CL. Just heard the news about meeting your new butler and <laughs> quite a handsome young fellow. <laughs> yes, um, that's all I need for today, listener. Um, you can just prep up some dinner for later. Thank you. You may leave. Oh, listener. What a very nice name. <laughs> For a young butler like you. <laughs> so, you don't mind if I come along, you know, help you and wash you, you know, mm, prep up some food with Bassy. Promise me you won't interrupt me or him. Of course. I don't mind at all. Very well then. Come with me, listener. Mm. <laughs> well, while we're walking down there, care to explain to me about yourself, cutie? <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yes. Of course, you grew up in a nice village. <laughs> it's all right. What do you do besides being a butler? <laughs> Oh, you used to own a library. Well, that's very lovely. Does your parents, you know, own it too? Hmm, I see. How come you don't want to work there? Want to do your own thing of serving the young phantom hive? <laughs> Whatever you do, sweetie, you do what you want. I ain't gonna stop you. Anyways, we are here. 
Now, it's quite simple today, listener. We'll be making a rotisserie chicken for today with a sort of vegetables. So, I'll prep up the vegetables while you place the, the chicken in the oven. Please, would you do that? Why, thank you. Now I'm going to go prepare salad. Okay, if I open the oven for you, love? <laughs> of course. Well, it looks like it's quite hot in there. <laughs> is it hot or is it just me? Or is it hot in here or is it just me? Yes, it is quite hot. <laughs> I'd say you're hot yourself. <laughs> Growl, please stop flirting with listener. He's trying to do his job. Sorry, Bassie. I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh, there it is. And let me close it for you. <laughs> oh, well, the chicken is cooking. What do you say we can, you know, chat even more? Listener, I will give you a little short break while I'm prepping up the salad. How about you and Grell just chat for a bit? Because, you know, he's never going to keep his mouth shut. At least I have some quiet time. So please... Take a ten minute break. Hm, of course. Oh sweet, ten minutes for ourselves together. What am I? Well, I was trained to be a butler for Madame Red, but sadly passed away. Mm, due to death incidents, which I can't <laughs> expose to. But I am a free man. Well, woman, technically. Yes. Sure, I may look like a man, but deep down, I feel like a young lady that deserves some treatment from a nice gentleman. Do you think I'll make a very beautiful girl? Oh, really? Well, that's so sweet of you. No man has ever said that. Well, besides Undertaker or William, but... Quite weird to say, but I think I'm really falling in love with you, listener. Oh, I can see the tint of blush on your face. Do you like it when I talk like this to you, listener? Never knew you looked so cute when you fluster. <laughs> Have you ever encountered someone like me before? This is your first time. Hmm, do you like it when I tease you like this? Mind if I continue? <laughs> My, I can just eat you all up. <laughs> Face is so soft. <laughs> so, what should we do for the next... Eight minutes, love. <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. <laughs> oh, of course. I don't mind, you know, getting to know each other with our lips. <laughs> Why don't you come here? I ain't stopping you. <laughs> Ooh, those are some soft lips you got. Ooh, with a hint of, mmm, I don't know what you put on your lips, but it's so desirable. <laughs> Let me try them again. Mm. Oh, listen, uh, this is so sudden. It's like we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> Ooh, this feels so forbidden. A grim reaper and a human butler. <laughs> So naughty. <laughs> I should write a book on this. <laughs> oh, yes, listener. You can touch me if you let me touch you. <laughs> oh, you see. my feeling uh, 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 oh, uh, I'm, I'm de 
deeply sorry. Um, are those supposed to be pegs or whatever you have under that chest of yours? Are you not buff under there? Hold on. Oh, you're mighty curvy right there. Are you happen to be a lady? What? No, no, love, no. Uh, that doesn't change my opinion on you. <laughs> How come you never told me you were a woman? Trying to act like a boy. Is there a reason why? My dear, I'm not gonna ditch you what I found out. I mean, I am by curious myself. And I must say, you do make a really handsome man. You really do. I have to say, more attractive than Sebastian, the butler. Or Finian, you do give off some Finian vibes. <laughs> For some reason. You look quite attractive in any way. Is that the wig you wear? No, it's your actual hair. Hmm, it really does suit you. But why must you be this, my dear? Oh, I see. You feel more comfortable of being the opposite sex. I see. Well, that doesn't bother me, love. I'll still love you and treat you like a man. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> of course, I will still like you. Maybe you should take me out on a date, and I'll show you how much I can treat you like a man. I'll let you be the lead of anything, and treat me like a princess. <sighs> you are so sweet. Why, of course, you have my full-on support. Sure, you may be born as a woman, but if you feel more comfortable being whatever you want, I ain't gonna stop you. Why, of course. And here's my proof to show it. Does that prove? Good. Hmm, looks like time is up. I'll let you work, alright? Maybe after your training. I'll be waiting out. And maybe we can do anything. We can chat, maybe go out. And that's a deal then. I'll see you around, handsome. <laughs> I'll be patient. Oh, welcome back, listener. The salad is already done. Now we'll just be waiting for the chicken to roast up. So, it turns out Grill has finally found out. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I will still treat you like a young man. Why, of course. Plus, you have my full-on support. Possibly never tell my young master, because that'll make him really uncomfortable, all right? Right. I think we should prep up some dessert. Let's do that. Oh, it's quite simple. It's just a chocolate cake. Young Master really loves it. Right, let's get to baking then. Mm -hmm. 